everyone welcome back to this channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create a launch icon for your mozilla firefox browser the developer edition that we just installed in our previous tutorial the link is in the description and also at the top right corner of this video so to get started we'll just open our terminal in the desktop that you are using if you're using ubuntu just right click in your desktop and then click open in terminal if you don't have this option available you can just open your terminal and then it by default it will navigate you to your home directory and then just cd to your desktop and the second thing is to ensure that you've installed uh, vim I just run this command like that and then if uh, it prompts you to install vim confirm by pressing yes if it displays something like this it means vim has already been installed then once you're sure you've installed vim next thing you do you want to create a launch icon for mozilla firefox on our ubuntu machine or on our linux machine so what you do just enter this command and then enter the name for your desktop file and then at the end of the name make sure your file ends with this extension so that it creates a launcher icon then press enter then it will open for you this editor copy the text that i've shared in the description below move to insert mode and then paste it within this file by pressing ctrl shift v then we'll just edit this file to fit our current environment so to start with we'll give it a name that we want to identify it with so make sure this name you can change it to anything you want so for me i'll go with firefox developer edition then the generic name it's basically it's a web browser then for the executable path we'll just open a new terminal by right clicking in the current terminal window and then opening a new tab and then navigating to our home directory and then navigating to where we saved our firefox developer edition so this is the folder which contains our application ULS, you can see the files in here then this is our executable file as we referenced it from the previous tutorial so just get the absolute path of this folder you get the absolute path just run this command copy the absolute path the whole of it make sure you copy the whole path correctly like that come back to this file so right here enter the part of that folder and then remember we are pointing to an executable file so you have to copy the correct name of the executable file which is this one firefox come back here enter the correct name then for the icon the icons for Firefox Developer Edition are normally stored under Browser, Chrome, and Icons. So we'll just go to our File Explorer and then go to our Home folder and then navigate to where we saved our Firefox Developer Edition. And then just confirm that our files exist in the same path. These are the icons for Firefox Developer Edition. And then back to your terminal, just navigate to that location. Just ls to see if you are in the right directory then get the absolute path like that or so copy the path and come back to your file just replace the whole path with the path that you just copied the parent folder path and then come back here copy the name of the icon you want to use for us we'll use the 64 by 64 png file copy it paste it right here so that way you've set the correct path for the icon then for the terminal option this one uh, determines if this application will be run on the terminal or not so make sure this option is false the type of uh, the desktop entry or the launch icon you are creating is a launch icon for an application then the mime type enables the icon or the browser to be associated with the file types that it can handle then the startup notify so this option will, uh, will enable the application to notify you when the browser is completely launched and it's ready to be used for example if you launch an application like this one and you are doing something in another window when the application launches successfully while we are in another window it will show us that pop-up that you've just seen and then the application will launch so this is what this command means so if we set this to false it will not notify us whenever the browser launches then uh, the categories it's a web browser then for the keywords leave them as default the way they are here then for actions you can add the actions for firefox for firefox developer edition we'll use the actions similar to the ones on the firefox browser the default browser so if you right click on the default browser launcher icon you'll see there is this option open in new window and open in private window so these are the options that you're also adding on the developer edition then down here the startup class you can leave it as default the way it is here so remember we specified actions here down here we, we are specifying the specific commands and how these actions will behave so for the new window action as you can see we are giving it a title right here so the action is referenced at the top here with the desktop action directive then we have the new window and for the new window we are giving it uh, the name open a new window you can change this title to anything that you want you can just say new window then for the executable come back at the top here copy the same the same path and then just replace this executable file with the correct path 
that we just copied. Then for the new private window, you make sure you point the executable to the path that we are using at the top here. Then once you are done editing the file and you verified everything is correct, save the file using the vim save commands. Then if we go to our desktop, here is our desktop file that we just created. If you right click on the file, it will uh, give you this option if you are using Ubuntu. Just click allow launching to enable this icon to launch. So whenever we double click on this icon, it will launch our browser without need for us going back into the terminal and launching it from there. That's how you create a launch icon for Firefox Developer Edition browser. If you like this video, remember to share and like. See you soon guys.